Well, they don't stand for anything. And so you, so you think about Obama. I mean, how did he become president in the first place? Here's George W. Bush. Everybody hates George W. Bush. All the polling data shows that George W. Bush is not liked. He's not approved of. He's So he comes out. And what's his message? Hope and change. Yes, we can. <laughs> yep. And so you listen to his ISIS speech. It's the exact same thing. Okay, it's calculated. It's all based on polling data. What did the American people say they wanted? How do they feel? What do they like? What do they dislike? And he panders to it. I mean, you stop and you think about this, how insane it is. So you're sick. You don't feel well. You go to your doctor and he goes, sir, what can I do for you today? How would you like to be treated? (laughs) Huh? No, you have to understand here at this doctor office, we don't operate like most offices. We listen to what you want and then we give it to you. Narcotics, pain pills. What, What is it? So if you had a magic wand, because we don't want to upset you, we don't want to offend you, we don't want to deliver the truth, we just want to make you happy. So what diagnosis would put a smile on your face? That's what I'll give you. That's what I'll do for you today. Or what is it that you don't want? Oh, you, you, don't, you don't want medicine? Okay. <laughs> and so it's insane. And so this is exactly what Obama does. And this is exactly what the Guru Party does. And it's how they get so many low-information agents to give them so much money and to buy so many of their courses and their programs, okay? And it goes back to, Robert Cialdini wrote a great book called Influence. And it goes back to the principle of commitment and consistency. If you can get people to tell you what they want, they're more likely to buy it or stick to what they told you they're going to do because they don't want to be seen as a flip-flopper. It's negative on their character if they're seen as wishy-washy. Okay, so that's why they do it. They want your vote. They want your money. I mean, think about Obama. Again, we can put this in the context of politics. So many people are able to see it when it's happening somewhere else, but they don't see it when it's happening to them in their own business, and they get the short end of the stick. And so here's what Obama did. You want free health care? You got it. You want a cell phone? You got it. Higher minimum wage? You got it. Handouts? Done. Student loan forgiveness, you got it. I mean, one of the first things he did, and this is going back to your point, what are the midterm elections going to be about? One of the first things he did in his re-election speech is demand an increase on minimum wage, federal minimum wage, from $7.25 to $9. Why did he do it? You got it. Because it's hard to beat Santa Claus. By promising to give people things, hop up on my lap, young fella. Tell Santa what you want. Everybody loves Santa Claus. 